In Mark chapter 4, verse 1, it's very plain that Jesus got in a boat and pushed off, off the shore. He left the, or off from the shore. He left the people on the shore. In other words, he said, not today. No touching, no giving you food, no giving you money, no giving you education, no giving you the things. There's, there's no fishes and loaves. There's no blind eyes being opened. There's no fountains of uh, uh, blood being staunched today. There is nothing. None of this is going to be done today. You're not going to touch me. You're not going to get near me. I'm pushed off in a boat offshore because I have something very important to share with you, and that is God's word. Nothing tangible is coming here, but Jesus is simply saying, I'm going to preach the word of God to you. It's not a time, and, and there is a time for those other things, but Jesus in Mark chapter 4 deliberately separated himself so that no one could touch him, no one could get anything from him except the word of God, and he taught them the word of God from the boat. The parable of the sower starts off, the parable of holding the light up on a lampstand continues, and these are not separate issues. Jesus had one crowd, one day, one audience, and they're really one message. He talks about the seed, the word of God being thrown into the ground, and guess what? The seed is incredible, it's powerful. It springs up all by itself. And then he talks about what shall we liken the kingdom of God to? It's like a seed the size of a grain of mustard seed. Starts out small, but oh my gosh, Jesus is coming to rule the entire world. He is king of the entire universe. That's how big this kingdom of God gets. So I just want to do make a statement today for many of my friends on uh, Facebook here, and that is that I'm not building. I'm not constructing, no more mixing cement, no more laying block, no more carpentry, no more medical clinics, no more schools, elementary, secondary, no more feeding programs. Finished. We're going to preach the word of God. Because let me tell you, heaven and earth will pass away, but his word will not. And the real benefit you will get from being a Christian is the word of God. That's it. <laughs>